This is a woman who had cataract surgery a little over a year ago. She has a one-piece acrylic lens with one haptic in the capsular bag, and the rest of the lens is in the sulcus. The capsular bag is collapsed behind the lens and fibro shut. She was subsequently ag lasered, and now she has complaint of glare and poor vision. So here we're going to uh, attempt to dissect open the capsular bag. And uh, I placed a uh, viscodilation cannula, um, which is actually a spatulated 26 gauge LASIK cannula, over the haptic where I can sneak in under the anterior capsule. And I'm going to inject uh, dispersive viscoelastic here and try to reopen the uh, capsular bag by sweeping to the right and left as I uh, inject the viscoelastic. Um, there is some fibrosis here, but I'm able to uh, start the process of reopening this rim of capsule. Uh, you don't really have the normal backboard that you have to dissect because the yeah, capsulotomy opening uh, prevents us from uh, dilating the capsule bag as we normally would. But we can sneak under the anterior capsule rim here, and here I am behind the implant, and sweep to the uh, side and dissect the uh, anterior and posterior capsule from each other, as you see here, and uh, create a potential space. So now I've worked my way around, and um, I'm going to uh, try to reposition the uh, haptic that's in the sulcus in the capsular bag, and I'm able to actually achieve that, and the uh, lens is now completely within the capsular bag, and it feels quite stable. I'm going to rotate it a little bit and ascertain that uh, the lens is completely under the anterior capsule. Uh, at this point, I felt that I could have been pretty much finished with this case, uh, but um, I did recall that the lens that was in the patient's eye was uh, a little bit uh, underpowered and would have left the patient uh, slightly hyperopic. So after discussing the situation with the patient, she decided that she would prefer if I took this lens out and put a higher power lens in. Uh, so we went ahead and did that. Uh, the lens is prolapsed up out of the capsule of bag. Uh, and um, now I'm going to cut this in half uh, and uh, take it out in two pieces. And I'm very careful when I do this to try not to disturb um, the uh, uh, vitreous so that it won't uh, prolapse uh, out through the um, incision. Um, here we are cutting the lens in half uh, and I'm very uh, gently going to take this out in two pieces and um, then we're going to put a new three-piece lens uh, in the capsular remnant uh, under the anterior capsule by carefully injecting this leading haptic just under the anterior capsule rim. Uh, we don't want to angle this too posteriorly because it'll go through the opening in the posterior capsule. So I'm very carefully uh, going to very slowly dissect this right up against the anterior capsule rim and let the lens unfold up against the anterior capsule rim uh, and then I can dial it into the uh, recess of the capsule bag without disturbing the uh, posterior capsule opening which is uh, pretty large here. So now the lens is uh, carefully rotated into the uh, donut-shaped capsular bag remnant. I'll rotate it slightly to make sure that the haptics are in the equator of the capsular bag and the uh, case is completed. Thank you for your attention.